In this video, I'd like to talk about converting recursive and explicit forms of arithmetic sequences. So for instance, in this example problem, we're given the recursive form of a sequence, and we're asked to find the explicit formula. So before we jump into this problem, let's just remind ourselves what those general formulas look like. So for instance, for the recursive formula, we always start with the first term. So h of 1, that's just our first term. We're going to be given that. And then we're going to be given the pattern. So to find the nth term, we're going to look at the term before that, h of n minus 1, and we'll have plus the common difference d. So d in this case is our common difference. So that's our recursive formula. And the explicit formula looks a little bit different. So this one is more useful for finding a specific term in the sequence. Whereas recursive is useful for generating the sequence from the first term, then going to the second, the third, and so on. So our explicit formula, let's say to find the nth term in our sequence h, is equal to the first term, we'll say h of 1, plus the common difference added many different times. Or essentially, it's the common difference d multiplied by n minus 1, where we're adding that common difference one less time than the term we're looking for. Since you don't want to add that common difference for your first term, that's what starts the sequence, and then the common difference will be added to find that next term. So going back to our example problem, Basically, we're told what the first term is, and then we're told what the pattern is, since we have a recursive formula. And comparing it to our formula, this number we add or subtract here from the n minus 1 term is that common difference. Since remember, to find the nth term, you take the term before it and then add or subtract that common difference. So in our case, we know that the first term is that minus 75, and we know d, our common difference, we're going to be subtracting 10 to go from one term to the next. And we could generate the entire sequence if we wanted. That is one way to approach these problems and then write the formula from there. So you start at minus 75, and then we just subtract 10 to go from one term to the next. So it'd be minus 85, minus 95, minus 105, and so on. This will go on forever. But we also can just use this information to plug it into our formula here. Since we now know for our explicit formula, we know d and we know our first term. So h of n, written in explicit form, is this minus 75, and then we'll be adding that common difference. But in this case, it's negative, so we're subtracting 10. And we'll do it n minus 1 times. And it's beneficial to write out the whole sequence so that we can check this. So to check our problem, let's say we know the fourth term in our sequence should be minus 105. So h of 4 should be minus 105. So let's plug 4 in anywhere we see n. So we have h of 4 in our formula is equal to minus 75. And then we'll subtract 10 for minus 1 times or 3 times. So that's subtract 30, minus 75 minus 30 is minus 105. And since we got back the correct fourth term when we generated it from our recursive formula, we now know that this explicit formula we found is correct. We can feel confident about it, and we can put it in the box here. So let's look at a couple more examples. And in this one, we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to be given this explicit formula, and we need to find the recursive formula. So let's just rewrite this explicit formula. So f of n is the first term, 93, plus the common difference multiplied by n minus 1. So this right here, that's our common difference, whatever is multiplied by the n minus 1 in this general formula. And this right here, this is our f of 1, our first term. And we can use this information to now go back to our recursive formula and create an accurate formula here. Well, we know the first term is 93. So we can put that in there. And remember, with our recursive formula, 
with the pattern. Now to find the nth term, you take the term before it and then add the common difference. And since we found the common difference to be 4, we can just plug 4 into our box here. But we also should find a way to check this. So let's check it. We can use our formula here to find whatever term we want. And maybe we don't want to pick a super high n value since that would require a lot of practice with this recursive formula to generate that far into the sequence. So maybe let's just find the third term using our explicit formula. So we have 93 plus 4 times 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we're going to add that common difference twice to our starting number. So we have 93 plus 8, so we should get 101 for our third term. But let's now use our new recursive formula and see if it makes sense. So to find the nth term, we take the previous term and add 4 to it. Well, we only know the first term so far, so let's find the second term. And we're just plugging in n equals 2, so we get n minus 1 or 2 minus 1 which is 1. And we'll add 4 to that. So this is the first term plus 4. And 93 plus 4 is just 97. And so from here we can find the third term. And the third term, now we're just setting n equals 3. So this just becomes 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we take the second term and then add 4 to that. And the second term is 97. So we add 4 to 97 and we do get back 101. So it makes sense based on what we found from the explicit formula. So we can feel confident that our new recursive formula is correct.